Hello, I'm Pro Tips to Paddy, and welcome to another Asian Handicap Strategy video. Okay, so it's day number eight of the Asian Handicap Strategy that I've been testing on Pro Tipster. Let me give you a couple of reminders on the criteria of that. Uh, we bet on the home team if they are priced between uh, 1.4 and 1.7, and then we take them on the Asian Handicap. If the away favourite is priced between 1.7 and 2.2, then we also take them on the handicappers. It's been, it's been a great weekend. Uh, I didn't expect it to go so well at all, especially after the bad start that we had with the first two tips. But so far we've had 24 tips, 7.8% yield, um, sorry, 7.2% yield, 50% hit rate, and average odds of 2.04. So when the odds are over evens and we have a hit rate of uh, 50%, then we are in profit. So, very good news. Um, what I have started doing though is to make it a bit more interesting. I'm, I've started to up the odds a little bit. So instead of taking things like 1.7 or even 1.6, I try and keep them as close to evens as possible. And the lowest I'm going to go from now on is 1.9. Okay? So from now on the odds should be between 1.9 and 2.2 and we'll see if we can up this yield uh, a little bit more. So uh, 22 days st still to go until we get to day 30 and uh, yeah let's go over to Pro Tipster and to my profile and I'll show you uh, where the best tips have been. Okay so here we are over on the Pro Tipster profile I've set up Paddy's Asian strategy I've called the page. Um, there's the link there I will put this in the description beneath the video of course so you can follow these tips. Now you know, I must warn you, I'm not putting any money on these. This is a test. I'm going to test this for 30 days and uh, hopefully we'll come out of it with uh, a successful betting strategy. Or if, it not, if not, then at least something that we can add to our arsenal. So, uh, 24 tips so far, 7.2% yield, hit rate of 50%, average odds 2.04. As I said, I want to up the odds a little bit. Um, because I don't really like taking odds that are 1.6, 1.7, stuff like that, even 1.8. I don't particularly like. It's a personal thing. Um, I prefer to go with odds that are over evens. So we can see here that the Championship, Premier League, two tips have been good. Um, Bundesliga, I've had three tips, but the lowest hit rate. These are all things to bear in mind at the end of the month. Because if something is doing better in the championship than in the Bundesliga, then that's where we should be concentrating these bets. So look, that that's pretty much it then. Let me go to um, the next, the upcoming tips. So here's the tips then. There's seven of them. So Brentford to win by two or more. Cardiff to win. That is a Cardiff plus uh, 0.5. Um, Bristol City to win half stakes. If it's by one, so it would have to have been 2-0, 3-1. Or else if it's just win by a goal, we get half a stake back. Um, Middlesbrough to win by two. It's the same as above. Same with Wolves. Wolves have a tough one against Leeds. Uh, hopefully they'll be strong enough for that. Sporting, uh, Sporting Lisbon, as I probably shouldn't call them, and Napoli as well. So a couple of tough games in there. Hopefully they'll pay off. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll have another successful round of tips as well. I really didn't think it would go as well as it has and uh, hopefully it will continue to do so. Okay then guys, so that's it from me, Pro Tips to Paddy. I hope you're enjoying these videos. If uh, if this has all been a bit of a blur for you and you don't know what I'm talking about, then uh, below the video in the description I'll put a link to the explanation video. I'll also pin it to the first comment as well so you can have a look and learn more about Asian handicap betting. Alright then, well look, I'll be back on uh, Thursday or Friday this week and I'll have loads more bets for the weekend's football as well and hopefully we can keep this yield up and, you know, fingers crossed we're on to a winning strategy here. Okay then, I'll speak to you soon. Good luck!